So I want everybody to just start pushing against the, the, the stationary object. Okay, now push a little harder. Push it as if you want to push it over. Okay, now, if you're like me, you feel one of your feet digging into the ground, one or both of your feet digging in, okay? That's because when I push into this, this resists me, okay? And as it resists me, it stabilizes me. It stabilizes me to a point where I can do all kinds of wacky stuff and not fall over, right? Push here, that's rooted to the ground. This is rooted to the ground. There's a loop rooting us to the ground. This resistance gives me resistance and stability. Okay? Now everybody take a step or two away from where you were. And the same place you were before, if you come a little bit further away even, and then now push. Okay? Now if you're like me, you start to feeling yourself fall over, right? And then at some point you either stopped or you caught yourself. Like me, I caught myself. I'm going over and then suddenly my foot comes out. Now I didn't tell myself, put your foot there to stabilize myself. What happened is I had a limbic system response. I had a lower brain reflex that said, that's less important than stabilizing yourself. Okay, so if this object is away from me where it's out of my reach and I can't connect to it, I will right myself and keep coming. Okay, everybody get that? All right, now, if I come over here like this, and you don't have to do this part, but if I come over here like this, am I in balance now? Well, I have an illusion of balance because I have support. This is supporting me now. Okay, now if this was to slowly move away from me, I would slowly go toward the ground. If it jerked away real fast, I would catch myself because my limbic system would kick in. But if it slowly moves away from me, I'll never feel it and I'll go right to the ground. So in Aikido, we don't want to be a wall of resistance because that stabilizes our partner. And we don't want to move away from our partner because he'll just keep coming, okay? We want to be a wall of support for our partner so that he can take his natural trajectory to the ground feeling supported the whole way. Okay, so does that kind of give you an idea of what Aikido is? We don't want to resist our partner because that just becomes like the old Fists of Fury Hong Kong Kung Fu movies where you see every boo, 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 boo. And we translate that as the, he's not getting a connection. He's looking for a connection, he's not getting it. So the next connector comes out, and the next connector comes out, and the next connector, and the next connector. And so it becomes this big flurry of punches. Him trying to connect with me, and me saying, no way, you're not gonna, giving him a wall of resistance, you cannot touch me, okay? Versus me backing off, or trying to catch something, or trying to stop him, or trying to talk to him, or trying to you know, get him to not do this, I'm pulling back from him. I'm not there for him. So he doesn't feel the support. He just keeps coming. He well, keeps he catching fall. himself. I mean, if you step out of the way, he'd be on his face. Well, then. yeah, he might. But see, if he's got a limbic system responsive reflex catching himself, he's just going to be coming forward. Okay? So what I want to do is when he comes, when he punches this way, I want to be here for him in such a way that he doesn't feel himself go off balance so he can continue.